I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to solve a linear trigonometric equation. We need to solve 2 cos x minus 1 equal to 0 where x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 pi. Let us rewrite the equation. It is 2 cos x minus 1 equal to 0. Simplify this equation to isolate cos x. So we get 2 cos x equal to 1 or cos x equal to half, right? So now we are looking for the value of x which will result into cos x being half. Now that is cos x is positive. When is cos x positive? Within this interval of 0 to 2 pi, we can look into the cast rule. So we know cos is positive in quadrant 4 and in quadrant 1, C A S T. So we are looking for two solutions and these are in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 4. So these are the two solutions we are looking for. Now this value we could get directly from the calculator since this is in quadrant 1 and this is also equal to the related acute angle, right? So this one is the related acute angle alpha, right? So in this particular case, we can find this angle alpha directly. To get the other angle, we will do 2 pi minus alpha, right? That acute angle to get the other angle. Correct. So let's find the solutions in this case. Now here we know we have two solutions and one of them is same as the related acute angle. So we could use cos alpha as half and we know alpha is equals to cos inverse of half. We could use calculator and we can also use special triangles. So in special triangles uh, we know the one with pi by 3 really works for us. If I have this angle as pi by 3 in the right triangle, this side is 1, that is 2, this is square root of 3, right? So we know alpha is pi by 3, correct? So alpha is pi by 3, x value, which is for quadrant 1. So, so the x value, one of them is pi by 3. The other x value is equal to, there are two values, right? The other one is 2 pi minus pi by 3. 2 pi minus, I mean, minus pi by 3, right? So, since this is kind of a fraction, we can take common denominator, multiplying both by, by 3, correct? So, what we really get here is 6 minus 1, which is 5 pi by 3, right? And so we can write down our solution as answer for this equation x should be equal to pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3. Both units are in radians. Even if you forget radians, it is taken as a default value since radians is the default value for finding the value of x in trigonometric equations. Anyway, it is better to write it. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Thank you and all the best.